Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another haul for you guys. So yesterday I went to Burlington, Vermont with my father, my brother, and our two friends. And we had a big shopping day. My dad decided since I'm not going to be home for Christmas and he's not going to be here for Christmas, he would just take me shopping for my presents here and I would have them right away. So I did a lot of damage. I'm going to be honest with you, I did a lot of damage. I did buy some of this myself and not all of it. it was from him actually. There's really only one thing that was from him. I don't need to put background music in my videos because I have a band behind me. Not behind me. The live band downstairs practicing right now, so yay. If you hear music behind me, ignore it as best you can. So we did some shopping, like I said, and I was actually very surprised, pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of sales, thank God, because if there was not sales, I would have not shopped. I would have not made my dad pay full price for any things that I got, but I'm very happy that I did get them because they're on sale, so yeah, super exciting. So I do have some online order stuff that I have all together with my actual stuff I bought in store, so yeah. So we're gonna go in with what I first bought, and that was shoes. 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 Oh my god, shoes. So the first place we went to was Charlotte Russe, and I actually went by myself this first time, and then I went back again with Brittany to show her the amazing sale on shoes they had. So I don't normally like Charlotte Russe because I'm so accustomed to being in Boynton Beach when we have, where we have a Charlotte Russe, but it's not the best one at all by any means. But I was curious, so I went inside and I'm actually very happy I did. So I picked up two pairs of shoes on two separate occasions. The first time I went in, I picked up these. I'll tell you how much I paid for these. You're gonna be like, holy shit. So I picked up these black strappy heels, very, very cute. I have been trying to get more into heels and dressing myself up as, you know, Miss Thing. And they had an amazing sale on some of their, some, no, some of their shoes. And there was like an entire rack full of them for $2.99. $3 for these black strappy heels. And then when I went with Brittany, because she was like, Holy shit, Sarah's I was like, uh, yeah, Sarah's She's like, take me out. So I was like, okay, let's go. So we went to Charlotte Russe. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> we went back to Charlotte Russe, and I was not going to buy any more shoes, because if I had bought any more shoes, I was like, holy shit, and I have no more room in my room, which I have plenty of room in my room for more shoes. <laughs> Always. And I didn't see these shoes at first when I went the first time, otherwise I probably would have bought them before I bought the black ones, but... Things happen for a reason. Because I went back in and saw these gorgeous wedges. I am <sighs> lusting over these. I have been wanting to get a pair of wedges, but I have not found the perfect ones. The only thing I'm worried about is that I'm going to kill myself. Because you guys, if you go to me personally, you know I don't wear heels. Like, I do not function right in heels. But I feel like this is a lot safer than an actual heel because I don't have to worry about, you know, like one little twig holding my entire body up. This is an entire like wedge. This shoe is super, super comfortable. They give enough room to where your feet are not going to be like constricted in the shoe. I hate constricted strappy shoes, but this is not like that at all. And I love the little, you know, woven, I guess you would call it, pattern on it. I just, I'm living for these. So I cannot wait till summer and spring to wear this shoe. And then I also picked up two separate um, pieces of clothing. Can I help you? You want to be in the video? All right, come on. Chloe wanted to say hi, so here she is. Say hello. So I picked up a pair of just regular black leggings because I have a couple of outfits that I wanted to wear with them, including those heels. Um, but I just, there were five bucks and I was like, why the hell not? So, but I've heard that Charlotte Russe leggings are like some of the best leggings ever. They have the, like the perfect amount of give in them to where you're not going to be like Ugh, constricted in them. And then I also found this cropped peasant top. It's cropped to an extent. It's not like completely cropped, but it's cropped enough to where it's a crop top with these really pretty woven sleeves. I saw myself wearing this with those shoes. This was 10 bucks on sale. I bought it in a bigger size because I was going to actually layer it with about like a, maybe a cami underneath just to make it look a little bit more comfortable because um, I don't like wearing just things like this by itself. But the lady said that she has this exact same one and it actually falls off the shoulders a little bit. But I feel like I'm a little bit more broad shoulders than she was so maybe it won't be falling off that much. But she said it was a very, very pretty shirt. So I'm so happy I bought it. <laughs> So next I went to Sephora and look at this huge ass bag. I'm not complaining. 
They gave me this huge ass bag for one palette, but the palette is pretty big, so whatever. I went to go swatch different palettes and stuff like that from like Too Faced, Urban Decay. Um, I was looking at the Gwen Stefani palette, the one she just came out with, with collaboration with Urban Decay. Looking at the Vice palette, looking at the Bon Bon palette from Too Faced. I swatched everything and literally was not impressed with a thing. So I literally almost walked out of... Sephora with nothing and I was like how often does that ever happen because I was looking at everything and I was just so caught between being indecisive on what I wanted and then not being impressed with anything so I was like you know what fuck it if I don't find anything I'm not gonna waste my money because if I'm not totally sold on anything what is the point of wasting my money on it you know what I mean like that's just the way I am so but I found something perfect and I'm super excited about it because it's definitely something that I would consider a great gift idea for those of you who are kind of like not into makeup but you have a makeup lover in your family or as a friend and you want to get them something that you know they'll enjoy especially if they're beginners this is a beautiful beginner makeup artist palette so without further ado let's show you guys what it is this is the Sephora beautiful crush palette and it is huge this thing is ridiculous and it's only $30 and when I read off to you what you get in this palette you're gonna be like holy shit I'm going to Sephora right now hopefully I hope so I have not heard much about this palette at all if at all actually on YouTube so like I said I think this is an excellent gift idea for those of you who maybe don't really know how to step into a Sephora and know what to look for in a palette but to me the most amazing palettes are those that come with literally pretty much everything you'll ever need as a makeup artist in one spot and for $30, I just dropped it. This is what it looks like. It is literally gargantuan. The only downside to this palette that I actually have seen is the fact that it does have a mirror, but it runs the length of this black strip down here. And I find that they had this entire top of this palette to make into a like larger than life mirror, and they kind of didn't go with it. So I'm like, mmm, whatever. 72 eyeshadows, 32 lip glosses, 18 cream eyeliners, and 6 blushes. That's fucking huge. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the palette itself. So this is what it looks like pretty much. Here you have all of your gel eyeliners or your cream eyeliners here. Your blushes are here, your lip glosses are here, and of course these are all the rest of the eyeshadows. I love how they have little hearts for the eyeshadows, it's so so cute, and little lips for the lip glosses, but I love the color selection in this palette. You literally have everything. You have your nudes, your smokies, your neutrals, you have your romantic shades, your pinks, your golds, your silvers, your blacks. You have literally everything in this palette. I adore Sephora eyeshadows. I actually have their last season's holiday palette. The eyeshadows are so gorgeous. Look at this green. This like blackish green. They're so easy to work with, so pigmented. Let's just see if we can swatch one of the eyeliners and see how well that is. That's one of the eyeliners. That's pretty pigmented. So the next place I went to was of course Bath and Body Works because I have been keeping myself from buying from there for the longest time and I could not deal with it anymore. I had to go. So they had an excellent deal on their perfumes and lotions, their, you know, regular perfumes and lotions. They were $5, but I did get some of the brand new winter limited edition perfumes. So, the first one I got was Jingle All The Way, and this really is a very pretty, very fresh scent. I find this scent is one of the scents that I am naturally drawn to because it has such a floral a very strong floral note to it, and I love floral perfumes. They work so well with my body chemistry. The other one I got from the same collection was Red Ch Velvet Cheer from the same Holiday Traditions collection. And this one smells like vanilla berries, pretty much. It smells really good. This is Winter Berry Wonder, which it just smells like winter winter berries, I guess, whatever winter berries smell like. This one is in Frosted Winter Woods. The next one I picked up is Snow Kissed Sugar. The last one I picked up is my favorite one. This one's in Fresh Sparkling Snow, and this one smells, it reminds me vaguely of Aqua Kiss from Victoria's Secret. When I worked there, it was my favorite perfume to spray on myself because when we work there, you're supposed to like douse yourself in the fragrances and stuff like that. I went to Rue 21. And I I love Route 21 just because they have some really good sales, especially this time of the year, they have really good sales. So I was going into Route 21 looking for like a random like little t-shirt that I could get. And I love shopping in the men's section of Route 21 just because they have like, I don't know, they have cuter clothes and they fit better. 
but I found this one and it just it spoke to me because I saw myself wearing this with those black leggings my vans a beanie and some curly ass hair and you know a winged ass eyeliner I just saw myself looking badass in this shirt so this is gonna be a t-shirt dress because I bought it in the biggest size and it's a little bit big on me, but it says parental advisory, explicit content, and it kind of has like that jock or jersey style um, sleeve. So then we left the mall, and I was like, okay, well, we gotta make our way to the nearest drugstore. First thing I picked up was this LA Color 16 color eyeshadow palette. This one's in the shade Smokin', and I cannot tell you how excited I am that I found this because I have heard really good things about this palette. You guys know that I'm in love with the trios they have out in the, in the Dollar General. Um, they're actually very pigmented. They're on the more powdery side, but they're actually really good quality for being only 99 cents. So when I saw this for $1.99 it was, I think, I, I literally was like, I need to have it because the purples and the like the cranberry colors right here were like speaking to me. Look how beautiful that is. That's actually very, very good for, for, the, for the price tag. I mean, it's not the most pigmented at first, but that's after two swatches and that's actually very gorgeous. The greens were the other one that was speaking to me. Like, look at that green. This reminds me of my Wet n Wild, and you guys know how much I love Wet n Wild. Gorgeous, right? I also picked up, because they were on sale, a couple of new Wet n Wild palettes. They say they're new, but I've seen them in store. I just haven't gotten my hands on them yet because I didn't find a good sale that was good enough. So they had buy one get one free on Wet n Wild, so I went nuts. Kind of. So I picked up this Poster Child palette. I don't have this one in my collection, so I'm going to add it to my collection. And I also picked up two more of the um, five pans. I have Art in the Streets and Tunnel Vision. And then I also picked up as my free item, and it was actually on sale. This is the Berry Shimmer um, Blusher from Wet n Wild. You guys know I love the Wet n Wild blushes. I also went to the Maybelline section and actually scored pretty hard in Maybelline because they were 30% off and that included all the ones that were in clearance. And I found these blushes from Maybelline on clearance. These are the Baby Skin Instant Cheek Flushes and I have one in Pinking of You and Pop of Peach. I also picked up a replacement for my baby skin because I'm all out and I've been out for a while. Um, and I got it for 30% off, so that's actually pretty amazing. So the fact that I got this for 30% off is like, yes. I also picked up another color of the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the Matte and Poreless formula. You guys know that I absolutely love this foundation, but it's actually really light for me, and I have the hardest time finding my perfect shade, so I decided to just get... So I decided to just get um, one more and just mix these two together. I also found this Rimmel bronzer. It was on sale for $2.75 and it is actually a matte bronzer and it looks beautiful. This is in 003 Sun Queen. It is on the more orange side so I don't know how well that's going to work for me at the moment since I'm not really that dark to pull off an orange undertoned bronzer but it looked beautiful and it was on sale and I was like, I need to have you in my life. So I picked it up and I'm very excited to use it. So yeah. Then as I made my way up to the front to check out, I saw Sinful Colors put their new line of holiday nail polishes out. And when I saw this blue, I literally was like, <gasps> it hit my soul. This is the shade Blue by You. And let me just tell you, this is the most gorgeous blue I have ever seen in my life. And actually, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna take my nail polish off that I have right now and put this on and I just, I'm living for this color. And then I came home and my husband said, hey, your package came in and I was like, what package? He's like, I don't know, it just says your name on it and there's stuff in it. So I was like, oh, it's probably just my mom's package when really it's actually my package. I got a couple of things from Hot Topic because my mom made a big order to Hot Topic to order my brother's Christmas presents because he and I both absolutely love Hot Topic and all their band t-shirts and since we both pretty much are the exact same people with different body parts. Um, I decided to pick a couple up for him, but I also got myself some stuff because with every $30 that you spent, you got $15 in hot cash. So I accumulated quite a bit of hot cash this one shopping trip, so I have now, I think, $50 towards my next purchase, which is amazing. But the first thing I picked up for myself with those points, because I actually made two separate orders, was this t-shirt, and you guys know how much I love Bring Me The Horizon, maybe you don't. I love bands, <laughs> and in particular, I love Everyday I Remember and Bring Me The Horizon, so I saw this t-shirt, and I had to have it, and it's really creepy. If you don't listen to the music, it looks creepy. It's probably like, what the fuck is she like showing me right now? It's like some cult shit. It's not, I promise, it's just, I fell in love with the style of it. I don't know why, I just loved, I just loved it. I fell in love with it. So I got it, got that. And then I also picked up 
Why does this keep falling like that? Stop. Stay where you are. I also found this other t-shirt that just spoke to my soul. Literally, guys. Like, I was like, holy crap, this is literally me. So it says, rude, crude, and lots of tude. And I was like, holy crap, another t-shirt dress for my outfit that I want to wear with those jeggings. So, super excited about this. And then lastly, my most favorite purchase of that Hot Topic order. I cannot tell you how excited I was when I saw this dress was in my size and it was still available and it was on sale. Like that never happens, at least not for me. This is a skater dress, a skater cut dress, I guess you could say. And it just says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. It's from Harry Potter. You guys know how much I love Harry Potter. Well, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thanks so much for watching. I will be doing a couple more shopping trips over the next couple days to get some last minute gifts, of course, since Christmas is next Friday, which I cannot, cannot believe. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.